Today we're looking at a newer version of the GTA 6 mapping project. This is the latest version of the GTA 6 map that has been assembled by the community from the leaked footage and the first official trailer for GTA 6. On screen you can see the people that worked on it. The measurements are estimated based on Rockstar's Rage Engine units. So everything is to scale and close to how it would look in GTA 6. So a few things to note is that most of this map is still speculation. Of course we can't know absolutely everything about the map. We only have information that has been assembled from the leaks and the official trailer trailer. The orange borders of the map are speculation, as well as all of the names, buildings, roads, colored in red. But as you can see, we have roads, we have areas, names that have been colored in black and gray. These have been extracted from the leaks and the trailer. But just keep it in the back of your mind that everything is subject to change. The GTA 6 map is rumored to have three major cities and four sub-cities with smaller areas surrounding. For now, two of these cities have been confirmed, Vice City and Port Gilhorn. The third major city has not been officially confirmed. We'll be going over every single location from top to bottom. Starting from the northwest side of the map, we have Yorktown, which is the rumored third major city. As you can see, the name is colored in red, which means that it has not been officially confirmed by Rockstar. Everything you see in red is subject to change, but Yorktown is our rumored third city. The light green plates showcase the urban area, so you can get an idea at how big the city might be. Below Yorktown, we can see Hank Hill. This presumably near the the southern part of Yorktown. Hank Hill is one of the new hills that'll be in GTA 6. West of Hank Hill, we can see Bokemer Bridge, presumably going over a new river. East of Yorktown, we have Red Hill and Red Hill Forest, which is rumored to be one of the small towns. East of Red Hill, we have the biggest body of water located roughly in the middle of the map, Lake Leonida. Again, the orange borders are speculative, so we haven't seen anything from Lake Leonida, but we know it is going to be called Lake Leonida. East of Lake Leonida, we have have two new locations, Ekanfinaka and Ambrosia. These are two of the other rumored towns. If we keep going south from Yorktown, we will reach Port Gilhorn. And we have quite a lot of information about the city. Starting from our first area, this is where the Hank's Waffles Diner is located. We have information about some of the structures and buildings that will be surrounding it. We have a gas slash water tank, a water tower, tow chimney, car wash, and the Easy Inn Motel. East of them, we have domed hills. Two new hills on the map of GTA 6. Now, as you may be familiar, Florida is quite a flat state, so we won't be having huge mountains, at least in this part of the map. So you can expect a lot of these small hills. South of Dome Hills, we have the Port Gilhorn Motel, which is a motel that has been confirmed by the leaks. By the way, if you're wondering what the yellow dots are, they're showing the player location from the footage. We also have information about the streets next to the motel. On the other side of the street, so directly across from the Port Gilhorn, motel we have a gas station a store and a taco restaurant which are colored in red which means their speculation west of the port gelhorn motel we have the gelhorn bluff again colored in red and we have one of the biggest map pieces that have been revealed by the leaks this is one of the biggest chunks we have and it is of port gelhorn if we keep going south we will see port gelhorn racetrack which has been confirmed to be in the game but you can see some more speculative roads and highways east of the port Gilhorn racetrack, we have the Leonida State Prison and Industrial. That is all the information we have about Port Gilhorn. Now it's time we move on to Vice City. It is the main city of GTA 6. So if we start from top, to bottom. We have Washington Beach, which we don't know much about. We only know the Ritz Carlton, Bell Harbor, Akoya Condos, and Jade Ocean Condos. Three speculative buildings. Going down, we have the Sunset Islands, which have not been revealed, and Bayshore. We also have the I-97, which is one of the bridges. West of Sunset Islands, we have a City View parking garage. Going down, we have the Little Haiti area, which has quite a lot of information about it. Crosstown, Stockyard, Empty Lot, New Wave Condominiums, 2275 Biscayne Boulevard. We have the Jack of Hearts Nightclub, 1800 and Bayshore, Quantum Bay, Marina Blue, Bay Park Apartments, Oprah Tower, Miami Marriott, 1000 Museum, Casea Center, the Gabriel Marquis, New Arena Apartments, East of Lil Haiti, we have the Venetian Islands, three new islands, as well as the Venetian Io Condominium, 1000 Venetian, and the Flagler Memorial Island, as well as the Flamingo Point. Moving southwest of Little Haiti, we have the Rock Ridge area. This is where Mamba Stadium is located. We also have the Metro Mule. You can see some of the streets and buildings in this area, including 
floating industrial facility and the brand new Vice River, which has been added with the latest version. Some of the speculative buildings include Equinix Building, Tuscan Place Apartments, Road Building, St. John Bosco Church, WDFJR Courthouse, SP Clark Government Center, and FPL Solar Amphitheater. Moving south, we have the Vice City International Airport and the Brickle area, which we still don't know the in-game name of. Some of the buildings in that area are the Vice City International Airport, Metro Station, the Seabolt Point, Brickle Tower, Mary Brickle, Fortune House, One Broadway, Espirito Santo Plaza, Bayshore Place, Four Seasons, Imperial at Brickle, Santa Maria, Ritz Carlton Coconut Grove, Grove at Grand Bay, Grove Offices, Park Grove Condominium. We also have the New Island Brickle Key, and southeast of that, we have the Leaf Links with the Crandon Park Tennis Center. Between Vice Beach and downtown Miami, we have the Vice City Port. You can see some of the ships. South of Vice Beach, we have Fisher Island with an unconfirmed name, and it's time to move to the Vice Beach area. Some of the buildings on the southern and western parts of the island are the Flamingo Point, the Waverly, the Floridian, Morango Grande, Apogee South Beach, and Portofino Tower. Some of the confirmed ones which we saw in the trailer are on South Beach, and they include Cordelia, based on Park Central Hotel, Seahorse, based on the Gabriel, Atlantis Hotel, based on Beacon Hotel, we have the CVS at Johnny Rockets, we have Hotel Neptune, based on the Shore Park Hotel, Boardwalk, based on the Breakwater Hotel, the Ocean View Hotel from GTA Vice City, Hotel Dixon, based on Hotel Victor, Villa Casa Casuarina, Hotel Crescent, 1220 Ocean Drive, Cardozo Hotel, 1300 OD, 1500 Ocean Drive, Royal Palm South Beach, Sea Spa Lowe's, Miami Beach, Lowe's Miami Beach Hotel, the Ritz Carlton South Beach, the W Hotel, Cadillac Hotel, 3325 Collins Avenue, and Trezor Tower in North Beach. We don't know the in-game names of all of these hotels, only the yellow ones that you can see down here. We also have the Shopping District and Back Alley, and a brand new canal along with the Sunset Harbor Yacht Club. That's quite a decent amount of information about the Vice Beach area. Moving down to the southern part of the map, we have the Grass Rivers. Northeast of that, we have Hamlet, which is based on Homestead, with Keys Causeway now having more confirmed areas. North of that, we have the Route 40, which is still speculation, a highway. You can also also see some new buildings and locations including the Hamlet Correctional Institution, Power Plant Turkey Point and the Sewage Treatment Plant and also the Route 3 which will be leading to the Keys. Now we have quite a bit of information from the trailer about the Gator Keys. We have the Keys House from the leaks and all of the islands with the dark green borders have been confirmed. If we zoom in we'll see that we have a blue structure, gray building, cell tower, a lighthouse. We have the ground blimp which was seen in the trailer. We have Route 3 which is a speculative name for the highway connecting the islands and we have the cell tower and this concludes the breakdown of the latest gta 6 mapping project thank you for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next video